Hey guys, Chris Collects Things back again. How are you doing? And I wanted to say I'm very grateful for all 102 of my subscribers as of the recording of this video on September 8th. Um, thank you guys. Uh, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't reach this milestone and I'm very humbled. I wasn't sure if I'd ever get to 100 subs or not, but you guys keep me going and keep me motivated to, you know, the sky's the limit and, and see like how much I can grow this channel. So thank you guys very much. Um, as I always said, um, please like, subscribe and comment. Uh, tell your friends, tell everybody you want about this channel and let me know what you want to see more of in the future and make sure you comment and just let me know how you think I'm doing, what you want to look at and uh, keep this channel going for hopefully years to come and we'll grow and we'll reach that a thousand milestone together someday. That is my ultimate goal. But um, not to get all sappy on you guys, um, the reason we're here is we reached the 100 subscriber milestone if you didn't already um, infer that from my monologue right there um, and I, I'm very pr I'm very proud and I'm ready to open up some packs um, as I've been saying in a lot of my videos um, c coming up to this this momentous occasion um, once I got to 100 I wanted to open up some EX Ruby and Sapphire They're actually uh, Ruby and Zephyro <laughs> Spanish packs um, five cards per pack this is a set that I never opened back in the day because um, after gold and silver and like the Neo sets um, I stopped collecting Pokemon cards for um, at least over a decade until I went back in college and felt nostalgic and jumped back in around Diamond Pearl Platinum sets. Um, so yeah, I, I, I never opened these packs and I never played uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald until um, college I believe. I went back and uh, replayed them and, and was able to was able to like them. Um, not my favorite generation, but um, I can appreciate them now, especially with the uh, the Alpha Sapphire and uh, Omega Ruby that came out remakes, great remakes. Um, so yeah, I won't, I won't digress too too long. Um, this is a video to open these packs. I did weigh these packs. Um, I believe I had 10 total packs, 10 or 12 total packs. Um, I saved four of the pack arts for my sealed collection and I will um, probably encapsulate them in some sort of uh, acrylic whatever when I get my eventual uh, shelf to put behind me or something in order. It's on the to-do list. It hasn't happened yet. Um, so these packs were ones that weighed above, I think it was like 0.4. My scale isn't like super sensitive so I'm not even sure if I did it right. But these are point three I think and above the majority of them being point four um, I did have a septile artwork uh, I'll show that artwork um, that pack was like point two so I'm assuming there's not a hollow in it so I'm, I'm hoping like at least one or a couple of these will contain a holographic I know with the five cards I assumed it would be easier to weigh but say la vie um, so let's get into it guys let's see if we can pull some uh Ruby and Sapphire Spanish Hollows here to add to our collection. I think I only have a holographic camera up. I'll put that up as the only card that I picked up off of TCG player damage. So that's it. Um, all right, guys. I've been going at it for three, four minutes here. Let's open these packs. Momentous 100 subs. Let's get to 200. I will do the... Uh, the giveaway of the Hidden Fates Charizard, I'll do a separate video, I'll open up that tin and I will, uh, I'll, I'll say post a comment in that video and I'll probably find some way of uh, randomly drawing a comment and I will let the winner know um, through DMs, either Instagram or Twitter or, or whatnot to contact me with their information and I will ship it out ASAP. So without further ado, let's dig into these packs. So we have, oh, Mr. Mime taking a nosedive there. We have two, um, I forget that Pokemon's name. This is a Leron, two Leron packs, and so it actually works out two, two, and two. Because then I had, so I did have 10. And then two, um, Manectric. Mighty Yenna, Mighty Yenna. So 
two of each, it's even. I like that. Um, let's open up this Mighty Anna pack and let's, let's give a little light here so we can see. Let's see what it's like. This feels almost like opening up a Pop Series pack. I don't think I've opened up any Spanish cards before. I don't know if there's going to be a pack trick or not, but I'm going to try to be gentle with these. And we're going to find out. Here's the back. I'll flip it forward. You already saw that fan P. Here's a fan P. You'll notice PV instead of HP in the upper right hand corner. I do like the background here. Makuhita, Aaron, Weezing. That appears to be rare, so no holographic in this pack. And a Vigoroth uncommon. So the pack trick looks to be one card, but there is our holographic Weezing. Huh, non holographic Weezing. That's a little discouraging because I don't know if that was a point four pack or not, but I mean, I kind of had a feeling. So the pack trick's one card. We're gonna put our card to the side there. Um, let's open up the second Mighty Anna. We'll just go by each by each until we get to the end. All right, guys. So pack trick is one. This is fun though. This is, man, this is probably as vintage as I'll get unless I ever uh, <laughs> hit the big time and make the big money, the big Lee and Hart money. All right, I thought I screwed it up, but we have a, <laughs> Professor, I don't think his name is Abdul, but in in Spanish he is Professor Abdul. Uncommon. I can't has Mudkip. Numal. Trico, which I think we saw from the first partner pack, and Don Fan non holographic number seventeen. Still cool because I haven't opened up anything from this set, as I said earlier in the video. Okay, so. First two packs, no holographics here. Um, let's hope we can at least pull one holographic. That would be nice. It's possible they were weighed before. I don't know. They said the Spanish packs. It feels similar to like a dollar, dollar like our Japanese like weight wise. Um, definitely some had more weight than others. So just feeling them in my hand. So I don't know. You never know what might be in this. Flip it one. All right, guys. Wish us some good luck. I think I got some shine there, so maybe we will luck out here. Here's a Combuskin Uncommon, a Wingle Common, another Makuhita. Might be a different artwork. I don't remember. A Carvana, na na na. Common and boom! It's a Reverse Hollow. Mudkip Reverse Hollow. So we got a Reverse Hollow here. Yes, I actually think I may have. Um, a trainer that's reverse hollow, but it, it's not from this particular set. It was from the EX Dragon set, Dragon Ball Z. And that's it. I mean, I so no. So it's like Japanese packs, no star rare guaranteed. But we got a reverse hollow, so I'm gonna count that as a win right here since we got something. Of course, my sleeves are behind. My Kip gets a place of honor there. So I'd say our first hit. I'm gonna take that as a hit, guys. Second Leron pack. We are halfway through, more than halfway through at this point. This is fun. I, I like seeing the vintage cards again. I obviously never opened up this set, so no experience with it. But this is a good time, people. I'm enjoying this. I wish I had those Leonhart cards. Like that would be a big thing to strive for. But small steps, people, to be able to have that supply. But. Uh, he got it at the right time. So here's a Curlia Common. Sorry, Uncommon. Electric Common. Wingull. Looks like we're going to get another holographic, at least a reverse. So that's something. Wingull. Common. A Ralts Common. And boom, a Puccina Reverse Holographic. This is just a Common, but another Reverse Holographic. Looks awesome. I do like the Reverse Hollow on this. It reminds me kind of a legendary collection a bit. Definitely a factory line up there. I will sleeve these puppies up, don't you worry. Hey, I will take that. Two hollows out of four packs, so we'll take that there. Um, so last two packs, manectric packs. Can we pull 
a regular holographic, like a hol or at least a uh, star rare holographic. So I, I, I will note, like these do not feel resealed. Clearly, um, there were still some pulls in here. So I don't. I feel like I did get my money's worth. I want to say these were close to um, ten dollars a pack. I want to say I paid like a hundred dollars or maybe a little less. It might have been like eighty or something. Like eight dollars a pack, so it wasn't wasn't too bad. And this was a while ago that I purchased these. Hariyama, uncommon. Warple common. Coughing. Looks like we get some more shines. That's good. Common. Ralt common. Boom! So we got a a holographic energy, which is a common, and, and they actually did number this. Some set some of the older sets would name it. So I mean we got another pull. It's not not a major pull, but I mean it's an energy, it's holographic, and it's got a number on it. I'm gonna take it. So we have three reverse holographic cards here. Again, I'm very happy with this. Even if this is a complete dud, I'm gonna take this. This was fun, guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for, thanks for being a part of the journey. And uh, I look forward to hopefully 200 subs and beyond, man. I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna open for that. Maybe the diamond and pearl Spanish cards I have. It'd be nice if that could coincide with the new games launching. So we'll do one from the back, flip it around. Let's see if we can get a holograph. It looks like we're going to. So I'm, I'm very pleased with this buy here. Electrike, Uncommon. It's a cool looking card. Routes, Common. Carvana, na, na, Common. Boom! This is a great pull. This is a white star. Man, what a pack to finish on. Hitmonchan, EX. Number 98 of 108. It's got a white star. It's an EX card. Hell of a pull here. And then it looks like we're also getting a reverse hollow goldeen common. So double banger. This is the pull of the video, guys. Hitmonchan EX from the Ruby and Sapphire set. I I do not feel ripped off at all by this. I've got I've got four not four reverse I say non holographic four reverse holographic pulls and an EX Hitmonchan pull white star very nice very nice this is a good looking card I will have to check out the value on that not sure Spanish wise to English I'll probably just look up this English version on TCG player but. Nice looking card. There's definitely a factory line like whoosh, that I see. I, I don't I don't care, man. This is awesome. Very happy with that pull. I'm gonna sleeve these up, don't you worry. Classic me. Come for the derps, forgot my sleeves over in my uh, pile over there of sorting and whatnot. So guys, that this is it. I enjoyed this. This was awesome. We got a EX pull. I'm very happy with this. Um, like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that bell for more exciting content. I promise I'll get back to my Banjo Kazooie Let's Play if you guys are eagerly awaiting that. But it's just with Evolving Skies coming out, um, 100 sub giveaway, throwing in some football cards there and whatnot. Um, it's been a, a busy, busy month for uh, card openings. So hopefully we'll get back into some of the other things that I want to in this video and continue on with the celebrations in the future. So with that guys, stay safe and I will catch you next time. Take care.